commentary for the MMS Formula One Bahrain Grand Prix, the season open of season five, presented by Rikes and Kai. And a very warm welcome to everyone joining in today, the season opener for MMS season five here in Bahrain. The 5.4 kilometer long circuit with 15 corners, 8 to the right and 7 to the left. There's been quite a lot of drama in here, both Rail, F1 and MMS. Last season we had a dramatic finish in here, engine failures to the likes of Aaron's, whose car gave up on life two laps from home. What would have been a very first Mercedes 1-2 that day. Speaking of Mercedes, Marco Carrigal also last season got his wing broken in the start of last season's race. He recovered all the way up to first with a strategy masterclass from his team. He was even spun around by a back marker by the name of Blanc. He still went on to win that race. Red Bull, obviously a team that doesn't really exist anymore in here, had their success back in Season 3, starting the campaign with a 1-2 for themselves. Smith is gone, Littergram is in McLaren. Expect a very closely fought 54 lap race today, with the pack being so close together, I for one can't even predict who would go on to win this race. With all that done, let's finally get down to the grade, presented to you by one and only Kai. Thank you so much for that amazing entrance. So on pole position, we have a pretty much surprising result here by Stephen de Jong. The man has put his beautiful looking Ferrari on pole position, and I think this says something about how this season might look. Joining him on the first row of the grid is our championship contender from the previous season, Marco Carrigal. Man is back on pace and he's already showing P2 only 11, well, 111 thousandths of pole position. Then the rest of the grid we have Clark, Aaron's, Mondragon, surprising, I think, everyone with his performance in P5 with that Venturia. This is not the usual thing. Then we have Littergram, Flynn, again another surprise, Rack, who's even a bigger surprise, Murray, miserable qualifying considering he's one of the better cars. Uh, Simon, Kraus, good debut for the person that nobody really expects anything from. Ragano, De Jong, Tannemann, Valiak, Weber, 16th in a spiker, this is crucial. Valiak, Panskana, Teller, the, that Teller. Material, Eastwood, Agnes, Misery, Salterberg. Nisbet and Kabusek rounds of the grid, obviously Salterberg, Nisbet and Kabusek were uh, having issues and failures in qualifying so they weren't able to really set a time. Anyways, so before they're done, shall we go to the lights? Yep. The hybrid engines are revving up here, but here we go, the, also thing that, the thing that's also revving up is the lights, here we go, five red lights! Five red lights! Lights they out and out. away we go, and it's Clark a, with a good really start. good start from Caragall as well as Clerk, as He's you point out. He's lead, I think, nearly. I think that's Rakus no, also trying yet. to make a free wide into turn one, let's see. Yeah, I think Rakus has well. to see it with his manoeuvre, as it's a pretty clean start. Aaron's had to pop down, I think, in there. Caragall takes the lead, they own second, Clerk, but Rakus two and three. Mercedes as now we have Aaron to bring Danny instead of Clerk trying to gain back his third position. No wait, he's trying to gain third position. Yeah, uh, I mixed fourth. up the cars. And Mondragon is still fifth in his beautiful looking Venturia. Yeah, you really have to appreciate the BWT livery says there's again the a move from Aaron. He fails but now let's get this beautiful shot of the hairpin. Oh, there's a bit of contact between a few cars. I think it's one of the cars, I think it's one of the Williams having troubles and that's Misery also in trouble. So what happened to Ben Misery? Uh did he lose it from Winkle? What happened in here? No, 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 I think it was a mistake. Uh, obviously, Honda have uh, very quickly updated their new livery with more black added to the car uh, and a Licky Molly sponsor. Let's see what happened. Oh! Just bumped away from. Uh, bumped I mean, out of the way from Kubusek. was there. alongside here. Misery Slide. seems to be turning into him. I'd label uh, that as a I'd like race. to see the view from Kubusek from here, to be honest. To see if yeah. he was uh, alongside before that. A very nice Lexus livery. E, that is questionable, to be that honest. That is questionable. Like, he, it was a late dive. There was room, but that room was closing up really quickly. Yeah, that's, that's going to be investigated by the stewards, if anything. No damage for either car, so that, that's good at least. Yeah. Both of them oh, that's a, that's well. a Eastwood spinning. Eastwood. What happened to her? Another Lexus driver getting in trouble. What is it with the Lexus, uh, with Lexus cars? Let's see. Sort of like... Oh, and it's a revenge. Ooh. Nisbet, Nisbet now takes uh, revenge after Kabusek pounded his teammate, so uh, interesting stuff Leon, there, but now safely on, on the pressure. too close to Marco Carrigal here, and he's Leon definitely... Leon season, he was in the Lotus Renault team, we didn't really see what his pace could be at the front of the grade, 
Now Ferrari obviously seems to have the car to challenge the rise of Mercedes and McLaren. McLaren having a horrible day as it stands right now. And De Jong can show what he's made of. And obviously, look, we saw, we knew that he screwed from. Aaron's uh, is losing last pace. Season. So he's just Aaron's getting challenged the... by Mondragon. And that's not what he wants to see. Obviously, Aaron's is already under pressure from Mercedes. Yeah. He has, to, he has to be four more. Same thing happens to him this season that happened last season. Here we go. Stephen De Jong and Aaron inside of Marco Cara. Goal. And that's a clean move. That's now, Mondragon now inside of Aaron's. And I feel. I think he pulled it off, I don't think so. No, a lot of moves. We can see Vardek making a move on Pascal. We can see Kabusek very aggressively going into the side of TJ Nisbet there. And Karagul's losing time. And now Mondra gonna try again to make that move onto Aaron's stick. And there he goes. Out tractions the Mercedes. Not yet. They're gonna go still side by side. 3 ds is a beautiful battle here. They're gonna go side by side. He pushes him wide, but now Aaron finds grip in the inside line. Probably left by the FJ Casa. There's a bit of a pump. Oh, and that's still okay, losing the brakes. That is going to the front wing. And that is not what the reigning champion would have wanted. What well, is, is that the reigning Do we have a reigning champion curse now? I don't know. Obviously, last season we had uh, Murray as the reigning champion. Things didn't go uh, too good for him, and now Lidstrom. Oh, he was bumped Down from the back. Ooh, bumped. Oh, Rakus locks Rakus. up. Rakus. And, and Rakus, Rakus also losing. Yeah. Rakus also loses the wing. So, great qualifying by the Manor Porsche uh, driver, but uh, definitely not a good and start to the season. Now noted that Rakus is under investigation for I this mean, little... I mean, he locked up, um, he went incident. straight into the telegram. That could have that been a way for, worse incident, to be honest. That, yeah, that could have been all four cars spinning around. Yeah, Sorry it's, if we can hear any background noise, I can't really do about them, about that. Nah, we can't hear them, the engines are a great muffler. <laughs> Good. Yeah, but this is a, such a shame for Marcus Littigan, because it looked like it finally... Because McLaren had a pretty abysmal uh, pre-season testing, if pe if we go by pre-season testing, so, you know... Ooh, Murray. Yeah, Murray now tries to make a move on to Flynn. Flynn, where the hell is he finding that pace from? Like... I mean, Aston Martin looks like a decent package with the yeah. Mercedes engine. And, and the, oh, the package just says, oh, that's a very yeah, brave move. Rekus had no front wing, though, so he had to get that move done. Yeah, still, though. Oh, and the leaders are close enough. Caragol close to De Jong, and Quirk is getting close to Caragol. Obviously, Mercedes would not like to have Ferrari in the oh, way, and but that's they are close. so close. Nice work done in Doesn't work. Caragol, our traction there, obviously, out the line, bets are line, and now Caragol in the slipstream. Ferrari engine against the Mercedes engine. Mercedes engine on paper should be a bit better of one. And Quirk is also pulling to the inside. Let's see, no, that's Caragol with a very late move. And that's going to be a move sealed, in my opinion. Actually, no, the young comes no, back. No, the young comes back, and Clark in the background as well. Aaron has to pick up his pace because right now, like yeah, he has to help out his teammates. Oh, the Tanam and Murray. That's not the battle you would really expect. A rookie yeah, from Murray Formula Junior. Murray and oh dear, look at look at the amount of battles we have here. Valnik, Mihail Valnik, horrible qualifying from him. Meanwhile, Kubusek um, is already up into twentieth. Yeah, Kubus a good driver, obviously, but Lexus is a bit holding him up right now, but he's rumoured to maybe make a move after if round things five, go badly too. for a certain driver that we already have mentioned, uh, which is Aaron's, you never know. Mercedes yeah. always has an eye for looking out for talent. I mean, they picked out Mondragon last season. Uh -huh. And that's Clark ahead of Caragol. Um, see, Caragol to move, failed, this, and then this, down is, the this really looks like the move for Clark made on Vettel. In, in the steering Grand Prix. Yeah. Except without the belt. And uh, locked down. And oh, that's an easy move from Clark. The Ferrari. Oh, Ferrari and he wants it to his teammate. Teammates collide nearly. Oh, well, they did collide, but no, that's yeah. done. After the last season, did you expect me to say we have a Ferrari 1 2? No. You know what? No. Absolutely Mercedes not. Mercedes has somewhat kept the position. Red Bull is gone. McLaren is down the grid again, well I say down the grid, but in the middle, again. Like Ferrari, are basically the ones who have you made a what? surprising, you know, comeback. Uh, if yeah. I would tell you last, uh, the previous season that you would, uh, that we would have seen Aventuria in the top 5, would you believe me? That as well, yeah. Mondragon is keeping our pace of veterans, that's the thing. Yeah, but obviously they both have Mercedes engine and Venturi, yeah. they did improve their chassis as well. Uh, Pascal now with a wild dive onto Hendrik Weber, that's not going to work. Weber is very close to points because really obviously work. top 12 points have been introduced uh, for this season. So that, uh, that is a move from Mondragon now onto Aaron's and Mondragon out-tractions the Mercedes. No, no. 
Mercedes has the better chassis, but obviously they have the same engine. Venturi oh, and, and there's contact between the Williams cars and look at Kraus. Kraus. That was a good launch you got done. Yeah, that you, had, you had very good launch. That's a beautiful move there. Tom, the Polish yeah. driver. He was the one that was leading the pack, ultimately. Ooh. This is what happened from his point of view. Basically, Temer Dion gives him a bit of a push with that tap. Yep. And, and launch there it. We go. Good. Good job. Obviously, Temer Dion, again, he has four Oh, no, that's Aaron. That's Aaron. So, what have you done here? I think that was a lockup. Lock up a punt. No! Okay, Mondragon sent oh. him and spun him around. So Mondragon, who obviously replaced Aaron's last season in Mercedes, and now Aaron has got his Mercedes seat back for him. That is oh, not that's the way weird, you because he clipped into him and understeered. And Aaron's was just weirdly dragging along with him. Both of them understeered. Because this this wouldn't really happen. I, I Both of them understeer and Mondragon was just unlucky because Mondragon wasn't really pushing him. He tried like a half harder move, um, didn't really make it work, he wasn't alongside at any stage at all. And no, that's on Mondragon, really. And this is not the way you can put yourself back on Mercedes' map, and you don't think they're even looking for Mondragon anymore, seeing what he, what he did last season for them. Yeah, then. obviously last season there was a lot of controversy with Mondragon and how he treated uh, the orders from the team, basically not treating him at all, not, not uh, carrying a single dime. Yeah, and not getting the results either. And now yeah. again, it's Haragol, who's carrying the team. Fastest Flint, lap. Fastest lap. That is... Again, this season, the, if you look at qualifying results, the whole field, other than like the three that didn't set a lap, well, within like one... Well, within two or three seconds. That is yeah, very close. close. A lot closer this season. Uh, I mean, and obviously, races, when we have battles like we have in top three, we have midfields. Um, well, as we saw last season, I think it was Aaron in Malaysia. Yeah. In battles, slower cars can keep up. Oh, Ooh, and that's not Carrigal landing instead of Clark. Meanwhile, Eastwood dropped off weirdly. I don't know if it's just her pace. Or maybe it was a punt or something. Suspecting a punt here, really. Oh, and I was not wrong, but she was the one delivering the punt to Ben Misery. I suspect the Lexus hey, car has some issues with that um, hairpin here. Because this is another Lexus time we've seen... Lexus and Honda again. Yeah. Aragal against the two Ferraris is very fun. I'd say the Ferraris are going to go slap a tight to turn one. Yeah, Clark is going to send it. Mansell Clark, Down the man who really shined in Ferrari, is going to dive bomb his team. Oh, that's a beautiful move. That's so clean. And look at the traction he also got immediately. And now Teong is under pressure from Harago. Obviously, real life, Bahrain has been a happy hunting ground for Ferrari recent years, obviously. Yeah, but this isn't real life. It's, yeah, it's strange to see Ferraris. Yeah. One, two. Especially Obviously, after the two seasons yeah. where they were woeful. Yeah, now suddenly. Like, yeah, it, it, is an, it is an interesting change of um, change of pace and change of things. Aaron's is now already uh, chasing though, so he seems to have picked up the pace because he pulled away from Murray and now he's chasing down Josh Flynn. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's too hard of a task to pull yeah. from Murray. Dean McLaren is not really the best of cars this season. On board of McLaren's material. Enough. Material is now at the back of Valak in the second Venturia. Valak is not doing too well, but I think that's down to uh, his qualifying. Yeah, because qualifying surprisingly will matter a lot. Because yeah, you can overtake, nobody is stopping you, but to, to move through the field is harder this season than in, in the previous ones. The midfield, if you're close in a battle, in like a huge pack, you can't really pull away unless you have yeah. a substantial advantage, which this season does not really exist. Yeah, I mean, obviously, as we move along in the season, we will see uh, uh, teams will improve, yeah, but yeah, this... and gaps form. But as it is now, with the f first few races, uh, we will see like maybe t till round five, d there won't be too many differences in the field. Yeah, as the FIA are confirming a five-second penalty for Mondragon for his little little spin, he gave yeah. out. So it is confirmed. Um, that little antic has been resolved, so Mondragon... Yeah. Oh, he's gonna be another... He's gonna be the, the, the um, colorful uh, character this season, definitely. Yeah. And he and also... Yeah, well, uh, he's the first confirmed penalty of the season, because obviously... Um, uh, I think Rakus is still under investigation. Uh, now yes. uh, instead of green stripes, she has the red stripes. Which is like a following trope here. Uh, we've yep. seen that on the uh, Team Portugal's uh, Zauber car. When they fill it around. Of course, now Timurion tries to send it down the side of David Ragano. It doesn't work. 
The Williams, the Williams is another team that surprised me, to be honest. Yeah, like, I they mean, are actually showing pace. Like they're, not, the Ferrari engine. they're not so high of the field, but again, this is just the first legs of the race. You don't really make too many uh, overtakes here. Uh, yeah, it was surprisingly now. quick in the preseason. Yeah, especially if they with Young. Like, yeah, David Young was consistently in the top 10. De Jong is a race winner in MMS, obviously. Double race stated, winner. Back in season three, double race winner in a row. But um, he's not had the best of times in the yep. top, as now the top three are really, really close. De Jong is a Carrigal. Down the inside of the turn one, it is Oh, that's going to be De Jong, but I don't think De Jong is going to benefit too much from that. Yep, exactly. Now he's going to block Carrigal oh, here. block off. Yeah, this is like a team strat. They're building the great wall of Ferrari. And Mondragon now is like two seconds off these two as well, or these three as well, I should say. If, if they continue to battle like this, Mondragon will catch up to them. Yeah, and trials behind him as well, like Simon, Flynn, uh, Yeah, Aarons. I think it's safe to say that we shouldn't we shouldn't be surprised if we get a surprise podium uh, uh, po podium set as there is a car out of the race, and it's a oh Agnes. oh that's a, that's a massive chance for Agnes. Wheel. That's a wheel off. What happened to Agnes? So, so the oh. Down the side. Ooh, that's a flip and that's a oh oh there into the wall and I, I, I think it's safe to say he's out of race yeah he let's see yeah. Ooh. rolls it so oh. that's the first hit of the season into the tech priority that is two wheels lost that's a massive that's chance pro, though yeah. yeah it is a tech pro, but still this brings me this is a bit of a flashback to 2014 real life race yeah. where Maldonado flipped uh, Matt Gutierrez Salterberg over. not giving the best of first impressions in MMS. Cutting yeah. off um, Jack Agnes. Agnes driving the number 13 car. It ain't lucky for him, is it? Oh dear. <laughs> FIA is under, uh, he's and the engine that. has blown. That was that must have been a massive contact because the engine has started smoking immediately after the contact. Yeah, if I are investigating this in Yeah, obviously. Uh, well, it's got on board with Salterberg. I mean, Salterberg was on the long side. He, just pu he punts him here first, and then just punts him. It reminds him. me of the Mondragon and Aaron's crash, to be honest, but obviously this was an uh, yeah. Aaron's and Mondragon, well, Aaron's should have played. Yeah, but that's a massive but incident. We can see wheels just rolling down the circuit. Obviously, no safety cars this season. Only we, yellow and, flags. Yep. But still, look at Mondragon closing up. The Ferraris are, um, yeah, doing yeah, their the job. Ferraris, well. uh, you can call this tandem drafting. <laughs> I mean, the Ferraris are just doing their job here. They're not really pulling yeah. away. They're just blocking Carrigal from overtaking them. And and Carrigal with a with a similarly similar quality chassis. Yeah, and a better engine. Can't really do anything work because like the Ferraris live through each other. Carrigal, yeah, with a better engine, but he can't really do much. He doesn't have that good of an engine compared to Ferraris. I think it's only like a five horsepower difference, or I don't know how yeah, much it is Yeah, now. five or uh, four horsepower difference, because I believe yeah. Mercedes upgraded the engine, so... It's, it's uh, small, Mercedes it's small. Mercedes is reliability, so. and Ferrari did, I think, uh, top speed. Carrigal down inside, oh, possibly. Oh, again, the young. This time, this time Carrigal went a bit more aggressive onto the outside line, trying to use Clerk's line, but it doesn't work in Tamer. Oh, that's a wheel! That's a wheel, that's actually Yeah, but Stephen de Jong has taken the lead of the race. But Clerk isn't quite done with him yet. Well, for now, he is. Yep. Th this, oh dear. We might see some few, uh, more replays of the Agnes incident if the FIA requests uh, to do so, but I think we've provided enough footage. Kaggle's still very close to Clerk. He's about to send a move soon. Uh, meanwhile, back... Where's Aaron's? Aaron's is seventh. So he hasn't oh. overtaken Flynn and he's lost a lot he's of space. He's dropped off. Maybe he's saving fuel and tires? Obviously it's... with longer races we could yeah. get more than one stop. That should be like... It will, it, like the races circle. are two stop. Yeah. Clerk in the back of De Jong again. The two Ferraris. Spelling it along. Uh, De Jong got it a bit out of shape. Yeah. But... yeah. Obviously cars uh, have a bit good, less... Yeah. Um, oh sorry. Uh, the cars uh, have the um, dirty air a bit fixed um, after pre-season. There was a fix released um, again by Jensen. Uh, love Papa, Papa bless. Uh, <laughs> uh, and there we go. There's Carrigal out of nowhere down inside. Yeah, but oh. he's gonna have a bad run in here. He yeah. Has to stop the moves like this. If he wants, he needs a bat, He needs a good exit onto this straight so he could have a shot in the top one. I want one. to point out one thing. Mondragon is about to be within one second of Carrigal. 
Is is he going to actually send that move? Clark. No, he he's not. But Clark is going to send that move. Ooh, Ooh. a bit of a pawn between a look at Carrigal. Carrigal immediately gains back the time he lost. And the Ferraris up aside, and now Carrigal is in the battle, in the battle as well, right behind De Jong. He's a good make a move. Yeah, and he now if anything four. happens to these guys, Mondragon is just going to benefit massively. Clark is now ahead of the two Ferraris, and Carrigal still behind De Jong. Carrigal's playing this safe, in my opinion. Yeah, he doesn't have to make too many rash moves. He knows from last season. Uh, you know. Okay, so we have a confirmed penalty, five seconds for Arbitrakus for that incident. Is that going to be counted as the first penalty then? Because that was the first incident, or are we still well, kind of... Well, no, I'm counting it as, like, um, the first confirmed penalty. And the first okay. incident will go to them. And the first okay. retirement goes to Agnes. Agnes, yeah. A lot yeah. of firsts, but And it's still... confirmed, Matti Solterberg has a 15-second time penalty. Harsh, in my opinion, but I mean, enough, it, yeah. then again, the there were two punts, right? Entirely avoidable, two punts, and it caused a lot of debris to spread on the circuit. So it yeah, is kind of you, you can kind of see the logic between that uh, yeah, between also, behind that decision. That shunt is causing some headache to um, Wells tuning. Yeah, but obviously they they struggled a lot through preseason testing uh, when it comes to lap oh, times. So. Young, young, young. De Jong not going to send it, same with Carragor, no, Carragor gets a very late lunge! He's he's and he's going to get the Young here! He's going to get no, the Young, yes he will! Oh yeah, he is, on traction, gets it done into second, finally! And he's look at Mondragon! Again, Mondragon is in the battle as well now, so Carragor, is this time for him to try to do, make something work in his... Yeah, look how close he is to Mansell Clark! He might make something work into turn 8, but obviously he has to be careful there. We've seen moves and failed moves into turn 8. Yeah, before. no, he's gonna, he's he's gonna get up. He's picking a different line here. He's trying to out traction Clerk, get a better run, and maybe make a move into here into turn 11. Let's see. Mm, turn, 10. turn 10. No, he's Obviously, gonna... these cars are not as big as last season's cars. You can yeah. actually make something work into turn 10. Last season, turn 10 move was a bit of a. You know, yeah, got yeah, it was either you going off, the car going off, or both of you going We're off. Going off. Well, yeah, Carrigal thinking better of here. He's, well, he's known to be one of the calmer drivers and more patient drivers in LMS. Yeah, you, you can definitely tell. He, he's trailing him behind, he's saving the tyres, saving the fuel, tr heating them up to get the most when and he needs like, it. There is a reason Mercedes is keeping Carrigal as the stable yeah. option. Down inside, don't you? Ah, there you go, get a better yeah, line. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get a good exit, again. and he most importantly has the slipstream. Uh, so, and a yeah. big better Mercedes engine now, and only has, now he only has one Ferrari in front of him, not two. Mondragon could make a move on the Young. Uh, Let's for first see. Gonna dive in. No dive no. bombs, no late lunges. Oh, Mondragon have a bit of a luck there. A Meanwhile, uh, uh, Knaus yeah. is about to harass uh, Tanneman. No moves done just yet. Then we have the Young, Rogano, Valniak. Viva is 14 very close to points in that spike, huh? Yeah, it's now top 12 points. Yeah, and oh, look at this! The Stephen York has now sent it on instead of Carragall, slowing okay. him down a bit in process, and Mondragon has lost a bit of face though. Look at this! Mondragon. Stephen York went a bit wide then, Mondragon might send it, yes he will! Down this inside! Is, this is our Andrew Mondragon, oh! No. Well, that was not going to work. Yeah. Mondragon, obviously, in contrast to Carrigal, he will send those moves if necessary, yeah. and he's got trouble. He's got in trouble for that before. Yeah, with uh, with a little shove to uh, Einar Ahrens here, putting him. The uh, thing is, Einar Ahrens cannot recover from that, so I couldn't. Well, he should, but he didn't. So he's still stuck in seven. But obviously, we do have pit stops coming as well, so that could well either help him out or make it even worse. Yeah. Down not the, the order. Best of cars Mercedes would have wanted. Uh, Salterberg, the naughty boy, trying to overtake the material, maybe cleaner this time. Yeah. We wouldn't mind. Wasn't the best of first impression with uh, crashed into Agnes. Uh, As back to the front. We're gonna have to uh, alter between the these oh, battles. There's gonna yeah, be a let's bomb. see. Yeah, the look at the young, the young. Yeah, the young is going to send it onto his teammate as well. He kind of taps his teammate, but he's gonna get the position. No, why am I being called right now? What? Sorry what, for that. What, what? I got called. I had this got call. Oh. Uh, where's my phone? I have to quickly DM and I can't. Um, my phone. Still not getting anything done on Clark, but crucially for him. 
Gomes not getting anything done on him either. Now Mondragon in the back as well. We have a four-way battle for the lead. Is Carol going to make anything work into turn eight? No, it's not. And now De Jong is really close to the Mercedes drive as well. Is Carrigal going to do something into turn ten? Um, no. No. I'm just trying to look for some action in here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, related to what happened to Nisbet. Nisbet has dropped off a bit, uh, hasn't he? Nisbet. Pumped, maybe just lack of pace. I mean, it is Nisbet, but... It is Nisbet. You are right there. But, I mean, he was ahead of Eastwood, if I remember correctly. So, and you, you being right. in the back marker puck, you don't usually lose that much time. So, something is a bit fishy unless he's seriously just dropped that pace off so much. I mean, it's Honda. I mean, it is on though. <laughs> no, Nisbet. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that goes on Nisbet. Nisbet just lost base in the span of a few laps, so uh, rest in peace. Uh, his chances of um, a good performance today. Meanwhile, Carrigal. Oh, that's a screen freeze. Excuse me. Mm, Here we go. De Jong still motion. close to Carrigal. Also, if you have noticed, we have more sparks. We have tire smoke. Uh, yeah, everything got enabled, so, yeah. Yep. Carago is still in the back row, like, uh, Leclerc, 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 what else? Yep. <laughs> hey, we have, we have another person calling Clerk Leclerc. And now again, it's crucial to get a good exit from yeah. Carago. And look at Mondragon, Mondragon is within the slipstream range of the Young, but obviously, the Young has that pull from the better chassis cars, so he's gonna benefit a bit more from oh that. And this God. is a late launch from oh, Carago now. Ooh, they merged into each other, and that is Caragol still stuck in P2. And yeah, look at Mondragon. Did, I mean, Caragol did get a better exit than Mondragon now. I think Mondragon is He's going to send all my war. days. That is a move and a half. He's going to attraction the Ferrari. He tried it. They're going to go side, side by side. Invested. He's going to push and him wide. still side by side. But and yeah, the Young is going to keep the position. But what a battle. Andrew Mondragon is putting a beautiful show. Uh, that was a launch of the half. What is going on with Arons? No clue. Pascana is it's very close like to points stuck. as well. He's literally like... He is in clean air somewhat. He just can't push yeah. up the clean. It's, it's, now, I mean, maybe it's, a, maybe it's a, stra a strategy in a way, maybe he's trying to save the tyres, benefit, because this is a two-stop race, obviously, so maybe Mercedes are trying to lengthen his, um, his well, stint. Well, that's been the way to go, uh, historically, in MMS. Yeah. I mean, you never know, Formula Junior has proved us this le that lengthening your first leg can make you do a one-stop race. So... Oh. Carrigal yeah. now really glows, and now he has no pressure from the Ferrari behind. Do not dive it down inside unless you're gonna fly. Um, <clears throat> fly yeah, high. You're gonna mess it up. And yep. he didn't, and he's now in the slip trim of the Ferrari. Mercedes engine uh, against the Ferrari engine. He's, yet again. he's, he's not having a not. lot of. He's closing now. Simon in with the fastest lap in the Kohlsteiner. Powered by Porsche. No. Which he is not. Well, a bit of a bump though. He will try it now. He will try an attraction. Clerk, he's not going to get it just yet. Clerk closes the door. As there is a move in the background. Look at this. Arons is getting swarmed by Tanneman out of nowhere. And Tanneman is going to get it. And Murray as well. What is going on with Einar Arons? That Mercedes is not feeling, not looking too good right now. Murray down inside. Let's see, Arons um, holds it to the outside, that's a beautiful defense from the Estonian yeah. driver. And now Murray, oh, he, com he compromised himself there. That is a massive... Trying um, to make something work in front of him, and nothing yet. Yeah, nothing yet, look at this, Arons is now very, he's close to Tanneman, he definitely wants to make that move stick right here, right now, but he just cannot find the right place to make that move. Meanwhile, the two Williams cars are slowly getting up the order. Caragol is now at the back of Clerk and De Jong has now caught back up to uh, the Mercedes driver. Mondragon has dropped off a little bit, obviously he tried to move a belt. And Sai Min is now joining Oh, and that's a well, lock up from Leclerc. No, yeah, blah. That Leclerc. was a mistake. That was a mistake from Clerk though, because you have seen he, he broke, well, he definitely uh, broke later than Caragol and De Jong. He went a bit wide and he lost Caragol, time. Caragol, no. Mm, yeah, they, 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 I think they learned. Um, yeah. with, uh, with the moves there, they're a bit too risky, they're just not worth it really. Yeah, Simon is doing a good job to be fair. Yeah, I mean it, obviously he didn't have the best of the seasons of, in McLaren, getting Arlen sacked and all that, let's see, oh. yeah, that's Carrigal well, into the hole. Good better move, but can he have traction do for Ron? No, Clark is just having some alien traction here. Illegal As Valiak is approaching the points here. Then Valak is stuck behind Viva. Viva has been very consistent in his 14th place uh, with the Spiker here. 
And I mean, very consistently annoying the uh, Jira driver. Yeah. I mean, he is in a pretty bad chassis car, but the engine of the Audi, really surprisingly, is good. And obviously, the car is being dragged by the skill of uh, Viba and we, Material, we let's be honest. Oh, and it's a move of the Young! And it's 3-1! And Mondragon! Mondragon is into second! Voice crack there, but wow. Mondragon is into second! The Young just pushed Caragol wide! What happened here? That was some hard racing from the Young. He just dives oh, down inside of Caragol. Young. Yeah, he pushes him. A bit of a pump, and then Mondragon gets them both. Look! Look from how far behind him. He just keeps he the takes tight the alive. Wider line. I've done this. I've done this move myself in like weeks before. Like two drivers in front go a bit wide. Yeah, but look at this. The Young in. definitely pushes Caragol off. He did. But Mondragon, fair enough. That is a textbook move. Yeah. There. If, like two cars in front of you go wide. That's exactly what you should do. A wider line cuts yeah. in, and you get the exit. Safe and the Young using some of the tricks from his brother's books. Yes. I'm not so saying I'm complaining, I absolutely love a bit of his a hard racing here and there. He's having the best reputation with Mercedes and Ferrari, yeah. to be fair. Yeah, but to be fair, he's doing a decent job being uh, out of accidents this year, uh, this, uh, uh, this race so far, so... It's been 15 last the time. Uh, sh shut up! You know, speaking of Stephen Young, he has the fastest nose, Josh Flynn, immediately swapping in. Look at this, this is a six-way fight for the lead now. If you look at it, they have caught up. No dive bombs here, but look at this, Simon and Flynn have caught up to this pack. Aarons is still stuck behind Tannerman. The Korsteiner seems to actually have a decent car. Yep. Valiak, oh, that is a late oh, move on to Weber. Is it going to work? Finally. Traction, traction, traction. Traction, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. Yep, got the move on. You know, the meme of like, not gonna lie, they had us in the first half. That's, that's yeah. <laughs> I mean, you always say yes, no, no, yes, no. I <laughs> still don't. Oh, Mondragon, Mondragon is going for the lead. Mondragon is actually having. Blah, blah, blah. He found some base, he's having a lot of it, and he's going for it. I that, wonder where I, the Venturi would be without the Mercedes engine and having like um, If they used the Toyota in the engine, they would have been dead. So I think the Tomislav Valiak is very happy with the switch to the Mercedes engines. Yeah, obviously. That was, well, that was the <clears throat> secret that everyone literally knew that Venturian is going to go with Mercedes this season. But yep. it wasn't confirmed until late into the last season. Yeah. Let's it's like see. Stroll going to Racing Point in 2019, 18, I should say. Hey, Anyways, Mondragon is very close to Clark now. Carago, ooh, that's a bit of a shabby exit there. He's there, but he has no not, pressure from behind. He has the, he has the, uh, well, he's kind of unlucky because obviously Tim, uh, Stephen Young here has the pull from uh, the Venturia and the Venturia has the pull from Clark. Yeah, Blaine, Blaine, and there is Mondragon, Mondragon for the lead. lead. But down before... And he's like, got him! He's got him! Behind, Flynn, and that's the Martin, has also got fifth on Simon, not yet. They're still battling as long as we have. Oh, oh, that's Flynn off. That's Flynn off. And oh, oh no, this is Simon has a gearbox failure. Simon oh, has man. a gearbox failure. Oh no. That is oh, not what he wanted. Oh no. Let's see what happened. So Flynn dived it down inside. Nice and easy. That's a bad yeah, start. Oh, he's stuck in. He's stuck in first gear. Oh, that's the worst gear you want to be stuck. Yeah. In. And Flynn just goes off circuit. Like I mean, for the fifth gear, yeah, you can play it. But first, yeah. that's just no. And they he's do. boxing and probably out of the race as well. Yeah, he is out of the race, he's out of the race. They they don't they cannot really fix it, can they? Yeah. Oh man. This will promote some drivers into the points, but obviously this is not Valak is just stuck behind him. Look at Well look it at is the crazy Valak. A bit of a Oh dear. Oh <laughs> that's caught oh, between that was the Valak and Simon and now Valak is stuck. What is going what are they doing? What is going on? Viva's you not going Muppets. To oh Viva, you Muppet. You actual Muppet. Oh. Okay, fine. Nice. Ghostly, she's a rookie. I mean, rookie. Simon has nothing. He, Simon cannot do anything, can he? Oh, dear. Oh, someone that was Paskana riding that. That, but that was Paskana learning to ride. Paskana with yeah. Viber. And yeah, he got a bit like confused and. Yup. No damage. Viber, nice soft record. Yeah, Viber, Viber, that. that that is a save and a half. I mean, opinion. we can't really blame them. Like, just yeah. pass everywhere with Simon. Like, yeah, Simon is just. I mean, Simon like cannot him. do anything. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. That he had to go off track there to avoid the two parts. Yeah. Do his uh, there. 
And obviously no. for slow corners, Simon has the advantage, but right after that... Oh boy. Hey, at least the guys oh. can warm up their tires. So. <laughs> yes. The Hondas barely even get the them. Honda. Oh, and oh. is Misery gonna... Nisbird might actually attack his teammate? No. No. So we already have two cars out of this race. And oh yeah. dear, look at the battle for P2. Aragol has got one of the Ferraris, and they'll go for the other one. Oh, Not that is a bit... Oh, yeah. oh dear. He might actually have traction the Ferrari, no. But what I have to say, how is Mondra going to pull him away? I don't know. Open OP Mercedes engine, and he actually gets away from them. Aragol is trying to get past. De Jong as well. And yeah. Bell's not gone. Flynn, is, Flynn might actually have an opportunity to catch up to these guys now. I still um, don't understand Harry. how that how the Venturi is in the lead. I oh I know what oh the young the young went off the young locked up the young then locked up and yeah, now look at Flynn. Your mate. Aaron's Aaron tried to send him up on Talaman and look at Flynn. Is Flynn and going Powell. to send it in? No. No. Well, what happened? To, what happened to Stephen Leong? So many replays this race. This is one hell of a just season. locked up. Ooh. Holy! That oh, was close. Dear. That was close to Mondragon. You don't say. Ooh. Mamma mia. That's, I think, what the Ferrari TP would say for this. Jesus Christ. Understandable. Have a good day, I think. Uh, Mondragon um, calls Stephen De Jong, um a mother trucker <laughs> uh, to call. Now we have Mercedes Power 1 and 2, Clark yep. is behind and the Oh, Caragol is closing up as there is another car off, that's Ragana yeah, going wide. Well, Obviously, the reason why we're investigating most of the incidents is because we now have the FIA reports. Oh, that's a lockup. That's a lockup. The tires again, are getting used. So, what I assume is the tires are starting to slowly get used, so the drivers are struggling on them. Yep. Oh, Mondragon and struggling. Two old teammates. I don't Mon think they like each other too much. No, Mondragon might struggle here to keep the lead. And it is equally powered cars. Mercedes has the better chassis. So it's just a matter of time, really, for Carrigal to do take the lead here. here. Do not spin it here. I mean, to be fair, pu putting himself in the position that Carrigal just did might put Mondragon into the mindset that, oh, he's going to send it as there's another car out of the race. Oh, uh, no! Baskana, one of the, I think it's... Yeah, that's the, the other, Wells. that's the other Welsh racing team, uh, cars. Welsh Tuning Racing. They are racing. not having a good time. <laughs> I'd say that's an engine failure, most likely. Engine or, I would even... Or suspension, make... maybe. Suspension, yeah. I don't think it's brakes, because... Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. He, s he slowed it too quickly. Caragol. We will see anyone's Caragol. Tight. Mercedes against Venturia. And that's and a clean move. That's a clean move. I respect that. Traction's away. Now what he wants to do is run away. Quite yeah. literally, run away. Mondragon now has to obviously defend from Clark and the other fast cars that are approaching him. Another Ferrari. Yep. So and now Ferrari went from a 1-2 to, yeah. right now, 3-4 and behind the bloody Venturia of all cars. Caragol already making a slight gap, but he has to do more yeah. to get away from the slipstream threat. Uh, what he would also want is Ferrari to attack uh, uh, Mondragon. Yep. So now we have three cars, out, four cars out of this race. Yeah, and Shame. it's only lap 19. I mean, mind you, Agnes was a crash and uh, reliability. Yeah, that's fair enough. The reliability is, is a bit of an issue. I mean, we all know that Toyota is the worst engine when it comes to reliability, so... Yep. Carragher's not getting away as much as I thought. Like, I thought, especially in, like, second or third sector, he would get away, but no. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and also, Welch Tuning has to, uh, has to pay quite a lot to fix a car. Yeah. They have, to pay, they have to fix the car, and then they have to pay for the possible engine failure. Yeah. Oh, it's just, it's just sad. And the stream... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Can I point out, Littergram is still in And the window is open. Stops. And Clark is Mondragon. the first car to pit. Ooh. Like, nobody else is pitting from the top three. He just had his teammate oh. through here. Oh, okay. Interesting line. Is anybody else pitting? I think it's the only one. I think Clark is doing an interesting strategic choice here. Undercut. So that is a two-stop. Yeah, the race is a two-stop. I said it multiple times this race. Yeah, yeah. But just in case, clarify yeah. it again. Caragol is not getting over. He's getting away slowly in sector one. But sector two and three belong to Mondragon. 
Oh, oh, that's gonna be that's called that. We're doing it all. I'm Kibusik is, is more... out. Oh, Kibusik is out. Kibusik. We didn't notice that. Thank you for one of the FIAs called Speed for pointing this out. Were, I swear he was out like ages. Like, yeah, really it really most really. likely is an engine failure, but that is just depressing. So the Toyota powered cars are just dying here. Left, right, and. Oh, oh, oh. that's a brake failure. That's Magnuson esque. Wait. That's the, in the final corner. He's racing. Yeah, that's. that's yeah, that's a brake failure. Holy. Eastward. Ooh. Eastward. I don't know what she was thinking there. I mean, her teammate just. Uh, doing Keke Rosberg style, but actually retiring. Yeah. I mean, still enough for a parking job. He parked near the exit, so yeah, that's good at least. Yeah, but the, uh, but save the now. After a bit of a um, mess up there, let's see what happens. That was naughty. Uh, if I would want to maybe have a look at that, or was because, it that naughty? Well, because well, to be fair, Tamer Young just slid across the circuit here. That's what caused. Uh, I think De Young was actually like alongside as well in the wrecking zone. If you go back, uh, uh, yeah, uh, that's actually. a racing incident. No one bought De Young. Yeah. Audi has an, a free engine no, slot, that's a message to that, but uh, shot. Nice. Yeah, because I mean, Wells tuning already uh, in the pit wall, uh, Quinton Wells shaking his head, and we got this uh, here from the paddock, he's saying that, you know, he quickly interviewed by one of our officials today, he just says that, you know, uh, as in the interview with Driver Insider, he just feels lied by Toyota about the power and all that, and he's definitely not happy about anything, so most likely he's going to do an engine swap as soon as possible, because that I means this is not good for him at all. Now, Tanneman trying to defend from Aaron's. Obviously, Aaron's now finally got his pace together. But he's down in seven. Well, six Ooh, now. Oh, another is. Look at this. Murray might actually pop. No, but Murray is pitting. Murray is pitting. Uh, Tanneman! Tanneman that is out of Flynn. The battle of the midfield boys is very intense. And one of these is going to Attraction Dodder. It's Flynn in the Aston Martin who are and as well. Flynn is pitting well. this lap. So pit stops are open. I wonder if any of the top guys is pitting this And let's see well, Tanneman now down inside. Tanneman yeah, doesn't yeah. do it. And now Aaron Tanneman gets a good run. Aaron might try and make a move into uh, the happen here. Check the top three if they are pitting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Carrigal, no, 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 Flynn, no. Sorry, Flynn is, but he's not the one. Murray is pitting, Kraus is trying to get a, find a way around the McLaren driver, and then we have a I wonder where he's like, Clerk is in. coming out. He might be in traffic. He's. Yeah, no, actually, he's no, he's in clean air. He's in clean air, he, which is good. He he's just behind Littergrim, though. Yeah, Littergrim in the McLaren. He's not done the progress I thought he would. And now, Aaron's not pitting this lap. I think Overcut is the way to go, to be yeah. honest. And, uh, yeah, he's still stuck behind, like, Flynn and Tanneman. Tanneman, I don't get how. Flynn, fair enough. He's a Jesse and Mercedes engine. Yeah. I actually don't know what Jesse Tanneman is running. Tanneman's uh, car. Renault. Is well, Renault. Renault is in the Corsteiner Porsche. Yeah, the Corsteiner. Thing is, though, the Porsche engine is surprisingly powerful. Porsche engine is, like... On par with Ferrari, for a call yeah. And Aaron's is pitting this. Aaron's is pitting Oh, the youngest pitting, and Carago isn't. Carago is quite long. That's the same well, with Tim the Young and the Vidoragano. and Valiak and Valiak. Both Valiaks. Yeah, here we go. Flynn has jumped Murray, and Murray, I think, is getting held up. Yeah, he got held up by Viba, I think. Murray is having a mare. Bo McLaren are having a mare. Is that correct, what I'm seeing in the chat, from the... No, it's not. It's not correct. Oh, shame. It's not correct. Hello? Yeah, no, that's because of Flynn exiting the pit lane. Because oh, they, like, okay. stop on the apex, that's why. Wait, Clerk is behind Murray. Oh, oh, jeez, Clerk. Oh, dear. That undercut did not work. Now, Littergum, obviously, warmer tires. Gets in a move on. Flynn. And obviously, more experience with Flynn. He's gonna fight the That's champion. That's engine. Holds it. What no, let him obviously more experience. I mean, Flynn only had the experience of no uh, season. You know, half yeah. a season. And he also drove. No, he did full season. He just drove in one oh. of the worst teams. Yeah, and well, he's uh, stuck to that team, but he's actually yeah. a big good team now. Also, Dad, you're not gonna pay 12 million for the engine failures and all that. We're gonna because you pay f half the engine price. Uh, when it Stephen fails. In, Andrew Mondragon in, Hanneman in, Aaron's in, uh, who was that? Krause in, I think it was. 
It used to be uh, full engine price. Jim, it's not. De Jong Kango's. in Kaggle in this lap. Jim yep. De Jong, that is. Stephen De Jong, has we go. he already well, We're going to focus on Mondragon because, well, oh, that's a, oh, that's a long way in the pits. Mondragon might surely jump him. Obviously, none of the teams went for training in the pit stops or anything like that, so... Kahneman might get Mondragon. Oh, yeah. Kahneman. Oh, no, Mondragon oh, is going to get Mondragon. held up. Oh, no. Oh, rip Mondragon. This might be good for uh, Stefan De Jong because he's at the exit of the pits. Oh. Aaron is getting Mondragon as well. And where is no, Stefan De Jong in all this? Oh, he's now exiting the pit lane. Oh, rip. He's behind Flynn. So both Ferraris. Oh, oh, dear. Wait, yo, yo, yo. That was close. Yeah, but Murray has gained a lot. Yeah. Murray and Littergrim, but Littergrim has already pit. And he probably yeah, and Littergrim will probably has to have to pit again very soon, so... Still, well, the to McLaren's. be fair, Littergrim might only have to do one more stop. Yeah. If McLaren does it right. If McLaren doesn't mess up the strategy... Then, yeah. Yeah. Caragall is pulling away Sigla, in front of the cool. East, Look at the Rakus though. Rakus is in battle with these guys. It's either they lost so much, or Rakus has gained so much. As he's what is Could now. Could be a mix of the two, but now Caragall is pitting his lap, and I am curious where is he going to come Look out. how far he's up the grid though. Surely yeah, he's going to Diamond de Jong. But now we look in the minimap, we look at uh, Litigram, and more importantly, Tanneman, who could be. Tanneman has uh, pit uh, with the same cycle as the leaders, and he's in front of all of them. Let's see how long this pistol will be though, because if it's a quick and pit stop, Caragall obviously... doesn't have to be held that much as well, because oh. everyone... Here we Come go, on. Bracano. Someone is out of the race. Quick investigation. Oh, both of the Lexuses are out. Right. And that's a brake failure on Eastwood's car. And not a brake failure, the Lexus brakes are gone. Reminding me of a certain F1 team? Yep. Real life? That is a shame. Right, where's Caragall? He says he's, he's, now. Hey, hey, he's, he's going to be with Litogram. Litogram, no. He's oh, on the look way. at the guy. Litogram is spitting this lap though. Tamer de Jong is in net second. Yellow flag is a Caragall. Oh. Oh, he nearly spun it there. Davido Ragano is in third. Davido Ragano is in third. Caragall though. Mercedes oh, Clark and Murray side by side. Murray is going to held off that car. Meanwhile, oh dear, look at this. Aaron's and Moliak. Guys, please race properly. Yeah. Valiak has gained a lot. Yeah, Valiak has significantly. And now if I think Raku's... the biggest winner in the pit stop window Ooh, is actually Flynn and Ragano. If Flynn could pull it off, it's amazing. He will pull it off. He will pull it off. Look at us. Actually, yeah, he will. Actually, no. No. Never mind, he doesn't. So Ragano defends. Great job from the FG champion. I would FG say the champion. biggest winners in the first uh, pit stop window is obviously Caragall and Hanneman. Also, the losers, uh, surely, Ferrari. Yeah, Ferrari. Uh, and, well, yeah, Ferrari. Uh, also, uh, the Welsh tuning racing team has already packed up. They're already gone. Yep, De Jong is uh, ahead, and we have a bit similar. One and two right now. Yeah. Aragal and De Jong, De Jong. But it's the other De Jong, and it's, it's in the Williams. It's the other De Jong. It's really surprising to see Williams this well. I mean, from the pieces in testing, we have seen that the Williams uh, and Ferrari combination like the Williams chassis and the Ferrari engine, uh, Ferrari engine seem to be a good combination yeah. so it is really interesting what to see. What I'm curious about, Littlegrim is pitting this lap, surely he has to do one more stop later on in the Yeah. Race. So McLaren's probably messed that up for him. That's Although we to are be reaching half race distance. Yeah Tanneman as you said, you say, I say Tanneman, De Jong though, De Jong started from like 13th so he gained the De Jong most. and Tanneman Oh speaking of like, De Jong! And, and Murray and Clark, well. this double vision here really is. Murray There's another. Has got a lot of and the Venturi. Oh, Valak is got back in here. Yeah, what is with Mondragon and not really getting the best relationship with it, with um, the teammates? His teammates. And now Kraus. Let's see Kraus. Surely not. He goes for it. The Polish driver out of nowhere. And no, Mondragon gets it back. No. No. He's gonna try. There's a bit of. This is another there. of those moment. Like yes, no, no, yes, no. Yeah. But still, Kraus, for a rookie that didn't really show anything uh, when it came to qualifying pace in Formula Junior, more about the race pace, he's really surprising me. You know what I'm going to say right now? What? De Jong is catching on Carragher. No. He was. No, no, no. Oh my god, he hit. Well, not for the corners. 
Well, yeah, but no, in, on the straight, somehow. No, he's not. I think Harrogo's running a... Oh, never mind. No, Obviously, these think. cars have quote-unquote ERS available. Obviously not. Oh, there's another car out. Who? Misery. Honda. Is this the first Honda that's out? Yep. And it's another brake failure! The brakes? What is going I on mean, with that? Oh, no. Yeah, well, I suppose it's due to the heat. Yeah, it was a bar rain. Right, it is quite hot. And he's not actually gaining too much on the straights. Obviously, it's he's... stable. Obviously, for oh. all the like, it's only five horsepower difference. Four horsepower. Actually, he four upgraded. horsepower now. Ferrari, Stefan De Jong is in the slipper of the Vito Ragano. getting past the Mercedes uh, engine. Oh, but Flynn doesn't in... care. Look at the send. Oh my God. And Flynn actually oh, might get the gun. Oh, no. He, no, but he's still in the slipstream. He could now go he... for it down turn four. Yeah, but he has to worry about uh, a certain Stephen Young behind him in the Ferrari. And yeah, oh, speaking of which, he is. That. But he's going to traction yeah, him. No. Mercedes against Ferrari. He here, should be able to out traction the here. And there's still side by side. Who's going to get win this battle? I think it's Stephen De Young. Oh, he cleared him before the corner. Ferrari. And Clark now on to Murray, but Clark is not going to be so lucky. No. Too much steering, uh, steering put there, but now let's see, Flynn, will he dive it down inside of Stephen Young? No. no. Mostly it's Flynn, in the Aston Martin, improved Aston Martin, I should say. Yeah, compared to what it was in the previous two seasons, the Aston Martin is literally godlike. Like, put the two together. Do... I mean, if you look at it, all Mercedes power cars have got a lot of, up, like, a lot of uh, boost. Well, yeah. maybe not the factory Mercedes, but Aston Martin and Maturia. Yeah, they, they definitely have a lot of boost. Same with, like, the Porsche teams. Porsche teams as well, and Ferrari, to be fair to them. Yeah, Ferrari, I mean, Ferrari, the, they only supply themselves and Williams, don't they? Yeah. Yes. Well, Williams. Oh, Ragano went a bit wider. That definitely helps Stephen Young catch up to the Mana Porsche team. And now, Flynn is trying to make some of the work on the Ferrari, and maybe the Mana in front of him is not gaining too much. Obviously, Ragano is literally due to Stephen But Young. this will be a sand. Oh! Sand and a... Frickin' half down the inside, getting out traction to Ferrari. No. No, but and Clark two, will Ferrari get Murray. Not a Ferrari. Stop aside, and Murray has been overtaken by Le um, really Clark. I mean, I have to say, the, the Renault power is not benefiting the McLaren as there is an attempt to move. Mm, just not close enough oh. to make that McLaren move. McLaren did say, like, they should have the best chassis, but is it the engine that's playing down for them? That yeah, I, th I mean, it is like 20 horsepower off the top. Uh, because like uh, they have, they should have a good chassis. They have good drivers. Like, but to be fair, end. oh, there's another bit of a uh, The Renault engine is like 20 horsepower or like 19 horsepower of uh, Mercedes, which is the best engine, and it should be used as a relative. So there's and a long way. And, and and that should like they have a long way to do it, to go, but the chassis is definitely helping McLaren keep themselves in pace. Yeah. The Renault engine is definitely dragging him down, which you can tell on the straights. But to the corners... Yep, Tannemann has caught up to the Young, so we're going to have a Korsteiner. So we have, yeah, Korsteiner v. Williams. Williams, Porsche for against Ferrari on the straight. Caragall is just... He's maintaining the gap to behind. He doesn't have to push Oh, that look hard. at this. He's, he's closing, he's closing. He's closing Tannemann rapidly. Side. Justin Tannemann no. doesn't send it just yet. But you know who might send it safe in the Young? No. Well, the young boat are known for making some moves, some good, some bad. Yeah. You know, the young has gotten this. He has this safe gap on Tanneman because three tenths is too large to make a overtake uh, work. So you just put this safe gap, and he, he basically will try and stick to it. But how effective that sticking will be is Tala. just down to him. Teller and Nisbet, the legends, really. The legends, the two legends. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Teller is ahead of his teammate. And his teammate has a 15 yeah. second time penalty, so... Yeah, and... Yeah, it's the Otto Saxby that has the penalty. Yeah, also Nisbet is the only Honda driver left in the race. After Misery yeah, had a miserable failure. Honda to be, like, the first two to retire with the engine being pissed for. Both, like, speed and reliability. Well, no, what has happened actually... to Marco Carrick? Never mind, it's just a gap being weird. No, 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 uh... The, the first the Toyota was supposed to be one of the worst engines, and they proved it. With, what like, all, all the Toyota the power... I don't know. He's lost two seconds. Maybe fuel saving, maybe tire saving? He's lost two seconds in this lap. It's not a gearbox failure or anything, so I assume he's just... 
as you can see, same with uh, Tanaman. Tanaman dropped off massively. So I say the top three is now conserving the the, the components, the tires, and everything else because of the heat, out. and because um, this is a two surprise. So Leon gone Rakana down the inside. No. No. Holy Clark. Clark, Clark, Clark. Bloody hell! Flynn has got past Clark. I yeah. think we saw that. Still what though, Flynn is absolutely flying. I did not expect this. Yeah, neither, to be honest. I mean, in the podcast I said that, yeah, he will be one of the surprises of the season. I mean, it was surprising that he got signed, but, you know, his family owns <laughs> Aston Martin now. But still, it is surprising to see a man that only so far has driven in the worst car fight with the top drivers. Yeah, but that's mainly because his car is one of the top cars now. He's stuck to the team. I mean, he's, th this is definitely one of the top midfield cars, like, yeah. by far, uh, Aston I Martin. Don't, to be honest, I don't think right now we have a Claire, like, top runners. I think nah. it's literally our one build, then we have one, but... I mean, when it, when it comes to the cars, I'd say Mercedes and Ferrari have the best chassis when it comes to traction and straight line speed. Because you can definitely tell they, they, they are very quick and they have dominated mo the majority of the race until the pit stop phase came on. They were literally, nobody could catch up to them until they started battling so hard that, you know... Uh, and even if they started battling with other cars, like, they could... They, they, they still pulled a decent they, gap towards us. De Jong is now clo uh, getting close down mm. by Tanneman and Carrigal is getting still not so close enough. And Carrigal is slowly getting back up the speed, as you say. Yeah. Like, you know, he's losing somewhat time, but he's oh, keeping the one... Oh, the old Vanny's having a go! The finally! These two have battled in IndyCar when that was a thing, and it was quite enjoyable Ragano to see. No. No, but Flynn mm. might get around on Ragano. Stefan De Jong in the Ferrari finally re he's, uh, released in the yeah. fourth. He could now catch up to the cars in front of him, and maybe even tell Caragol for the lead. Yeah. Of course, the Caragol now probably is going to be told by Mercedes that can okay, pick up the pace now. The Ferrari is released. Yeah. Because right I mean, now the two cars direct behind him. Thing William is and though, Stefan, and the old oh, 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 Clark. Oh. I mean, to be fair though, getting past Tanneman and uh, and ta uh, his brother Stefan Young will. I mean, Tayman. So, uh, it will not be easy for Stefan Young to get past uh, Tanneman oh, and bro. then his brother. And also, he doesn't have the engine uh, performance boost because, like, obviously, um, what's his name? Stefan Young, Ferrari engine. Yeah. Which is the same. And Hanneman is in the Porsche engine that's like one horsepower down, which is basically nothing. Yeah. Aaron's behind Eva Valiak, rookie, coming from Formula, I believe, Junior. Yeah. Did quite uh, well. Yeah. Some success there. Yeah. Uh, got a win. In Especially when you come at it on the races. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, we'll take some time for Eva to get into a winning form in F1. Maybe yeah, it's obviously. somehow. Obviously. But still, it's nice to see her like in the mix of the points now. Tanneman is close enough to make a move. Oh, and Tamer de Jong, there he goes. The Down the inside. Porsche. Let's see. Oh, did it work? Ooh, that was a bit too aggressive there. Now Flynn, that new side of Regano. That's not going to work. Clerk now and might now use Clark that as an invitation. Well. Doesn't really use that as an invitation. Regano seems to be the 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 talking about the right now for like fast behind yeah. because Young has pulled away. And, now and that's Clerk. Clerk is getting impatient with that Ferrari. Flynn, can he have traction? The Ferrari down there into the S section. We've seen this before. Maybe. He pushed very wide. He's still going to keep in, but obviously still now his, his run is yes. compromised, but I think he might hold it. No, he no, Clerk he gets parked it on yeah, the Apex. Got it. And now Murray. Who's in the pits? And why are you in the pits? Uh, Salterberg. Salterberg, is that the chip? That's a schedule stop. No, it? gearbox failure. No, gearbox is gone. Stuck in fifth gear. So not so bad for a Formula 1 car. In FJ, you're dead. Because uh, of the... So basically, his 15 second time penalty is now penalty points. I yeah, believe. yeah, it is. Paragol is still keeping a somewhat of a gap. The Meanwhile, as you said, the Ferrari is released. They, uh, he's now harassing Tanneman in the Porsche and the Porsche. And Paragol is still keeping a 1.8, 1.7 gap due yeah. to half points. So he's not I mean, really getting caught. He Not has the pressure. chassis advantage, he has the power advantage, and he has the skill advantage. Yep. Well, if the Ferrari or Stefan gets released, oh dear, Cargill has yeah. to go. Let's see but here. I think Mercedes mm. might be waiting for Stefan to get past Hanneman. Then I think they might give Marco a wake-up call. Yeah. Also, unleash the, the, the engine, because obviously the teams now with the hybrids, they control the engine power a bit, just like in real life Formula 1. 
He's going to dive it down inside. My question is, is Hanuman going to defend? Is he not going to send it? Oh, yes. yes, he will. Very late launch. Something like Carago has done so far. But and the man, work. yeah. Too much That's into the good. side pod. So. That is good. Oh, a, a bit of a lock up there from Valiak. Calls Mondrick to also. Scrubbing for the final two positions in the points. Yep. And Kraus is looking for these two to maybe have Krause, a bit of a mare. Kraus is just standing there waiting for something to happen. It, never mind. Oi, you he's, say taken, that. he's taken the matter into his own hands. Ooh. And lost him, really. Yeah, it's too, too aggressive on the throttle. But yeah. still. Oh, sorry for the microphone button. But he, he's yeah, definitely showing a lot of pace. Clark is still behind Ragano. Caragol's yep. basing himself still. And Aaron, Aaron's been nowhere. His teammate is in the lead of the race, and Aaron is in stuck in the midfield after being spun yeah, around. Well, I was think he around, might have some damage after that. I don't know. We don't know, yeah. But obviously, after the pressure Mercedes has already put on him, it's only going to get bigger. Well. Yeah. Uh, Carol is now dropping up to two seconds. So I think he has got that wake-up call yeah. from Mercedes to hurry up, hurry up, freak Yeah, I, I went ooh because we've seen Ragano clip the inside curb. And the final S section, this is obviously the famous auto spin curve if you have played the F1 games. Yeah, it, it's that's... actually not that bad in the new games. Yeah, but it's st it's still... Um, it. You in don't want to go on it. Yeah, and in Earth Factor, in MMS, it is also quite dangerous to go under because you definitely unsettle the car and you lose time now. Two Ferraris, turn no. one again, Deong not sending it. It's but quite a clock, yeah, ooh, that is too close for comfort to that real tire. He is a bit close, but he does the same mistake. His teammate did and loses out, not getting the move done. Aaron is still behind the Aston Martin, I believe it was Blimbo, I'm not you too know, sure. You know, has got up to the back markers. Hooray! Well, he has to do another stop, so it's basically doomed. But well, McLaren's are not having the best yeah. today. Caragol! 1.6 in France. Still facing himself. Maybe the young got a call as well to start pushing because there's a Ferrari stuck Ferrari behind the Korsteiner. So, you know, pick up the Ferrari pace, mate. Similar name, thank you. Ooh, and that's oh, a move. Yo, yo, yo. Out of nowhere. Didn't work. No. Hannah didn't Hannah. work. Okay, I'm going to leave you here. You have to take over. Natu nature is calling me, so... Okay, so we're now taking over MMS. So right, he's gone. Um, we are now stuck on board with Steph and Dion in the Ferrari, so hopefully you better give us some good action, son. Uh, I've never got over the cameras which chat. Uh, two Ferraris stuck behind Tanneman and Ragano, respectively Jiong behind Tanneman and uh, uh, Quirk behind Ragano. Uh, you do not want to make a move down inside into the final corner because you will lose speed and you will not be able to do that move, but neither of the Ferraris does that. To be fair, Ragano is close enough to the Ferrari and the Costana Porsche car in front. Caragol in front, gap is 1.9 seconds to the Williams, so he's still facing himself. But, uh, well, he's not really doing anything. Is any of the Ferraris going to make a move? They are down inside. Can he actually make something work? Tanneman, that's the side part. They're still side by side. I think Deong is going to outdrag on him. Yes, he is. And the other Ferrari behind him, Clark, has also got to move down on, uh, down on the Porsche-powered uh, uh, Mana car. We are now having a replay. I think it's right. Back. Yep, I'm back. Uh, double move from the two Ferraris. Yeah, I've noticed only De Jong. I didn't see the uh, how it looked. Let's see. Oh, that's that's smooth. Both of them similar moves. Yeah. Double and vision. Get it done. So now Stefan De Jong is released in the third place, unless Tanneman has something to say about it. And um, Tanneman isn't too far off of him. Mercedes now surely has to give a strong wake up call to their driver in the first place. To be fair, Tanneman is not. Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. Clark, yeah, Tanneman, I mean Tanneman, obviously, he's an inferior car, if we're honest. Yeah, and now Stefan De Jong next stop is his beloved brother. Thing is, we one more stop to go. Yep. So Anything the field will uh, be shaken up even more. I mean, obviously, we lost a lot of drivers. Yeah, I mean, we lost seven drivers as Rakes turns into an alien. What? Yeah, you got like muffled. Don't know what happened. Kind of died. Good. You're good uh, now. Gap in front is still two seconds. Is it, is it still dead? No, it's fine. It's fine. All right. So I believe the Ferrari team was actually said that it's a shame that the Dion brothers did not battle that much last season. I think we are in for some Dion bat family battle uh, yep. here today. Absolutely. And it is the Ferrari factory car against the Ferrari powered Williams car. So I wonder if the Diamond De Jong is going to make life easy for the Stefan De Jong in the inferior Ferrari. Down the inside, Cloak in, into turn one on Tanneman. Can he make it work like he did last lap? Tanneman is trying to come back at him. 
No, um, it's no, no use. It's no use. Ferrari fly. Now release. Yeah, both of the Ferraris now released, and we actually Ferrari. can see that Stephen Young has got up to his brother. But the outcome of no. that battle might be. It either will end in tears or in joy. It's or the both. two de Young. It's probably. I think someone dived it down and something. No, nearly. Oh, Paragol is getting a move on now. Yep, Caragol so is. I think he has got the message. Yep, it's already three seconds now, so. I've definitely From got the message. The, the own behind, so it is basically three seconds, yeah. So he's now getting the move on in front of the field if the Ferrari of Stefan Dion gets a move on uh, and gets past his brother. Oh dear, I wouldn't want to be a Caragal because Stefan Dion, we've seen from IndyCar, he can battle, he can fight, he can lead. Yeah. I mean, he did, he, he got like second in the first running of the Indy 250 and then in the second run he got fifth I believe so he's yeah, but really he's quick. He's in the front and he can race in front. He can go slow but will to wheel. And with the car similar to Caragal, uh, I wouldn't really want to especially I wouldn't really want to be in the skin of the Mercedes team boss. Yep. Meanwhile crowds to the outside of Mondragon and look at that. That's a good move to be honest. That is a clean, beautiful move. Meanwhile the back markers. Rakus is still behind Teller. Yep. Can't really call it back moment. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, we know in the background. Let's see that's Eva Valia. Oi. Oi. Aaron. Aaron, so what are you up to, mate? Seriously, get your head out of the gutter and start driving because this is not looking good for you. It's yep. either Aaron's. Aaron's is reporting sort of power loss in his car, but. Uh, yeah. He was reporting like power cutoffs in the acceleration zone, which could. Explain some of the acceleration that was what he has. Yeah, but still, not looking good for him. In the no, second, no, no, no. it's like it's like the second seat in Red Bull in real life. As two Ferraris actually bunched up together now. Yeah, that's the Ferraris. The this is the not going to benefit going. them. But the second seat is not really good. But yeah. now, Carrigan's losing speed again. I think he's facing himself again. Seeing that the two Ferraris are not really getting too much of a move, and they that might battle each other now. I mean, if Clerk will start a battle the Young, obviously they will slow each other down, which yep. is not what they want. Clerk seems to be the better driver of the two Ferraris, and better in wheel to wheel as well. Like, he sent more moves, and more aggressive moves, and actually got them done. Yeah. Another important thing is, they still have to do one more pit stop. There's still one stop to go, yeah. So anything can happen. And will happen. And will happen. And uh, that's not what some teams would like to hear. Maybe some who are lower town would hope some action and some really yeah. uh, you Tannen, work with boy, they, both. they bang tires and the, nothing happens there. Just nothing good. Hanneman right? has really surprised me here though. Like he got really lucky with the pit stop. He was second for a long time. But actually he was second then Pyman Box, so he was yeah. second. Anyways, Aaron's has finally picked up the pace. I think he l heard us. Uh, talking stuff about him, so... I mean, the Mercedes pit wall, I believe, he's still in contact with uh, Stern. Yeah, car, I mean, the, 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 the drivers constantly are in talks with the engineers, and oh, there's yeah, a move! Oh, in flight. Oh, that's not gonna flight. work, that's never gonna work. Yeah, that's... no. Oh, Valiak and Valiak, Valiak no. with Valiak. Valiak and Valiak. <laughs> ah, the siblings uh, continue the battles. Now Mondra gonna buy a move on the cross, but no bit of a contact there, yes, naughty. Uh, no. Mm, just not... Not what you want to do. Rakus cannot get past Teller. What is this? Caragol, De Jong, Car De Jong is catching up. Yeah, they, I mean, Caragol is probably uh, that he might have told him to, like, you know, save the fuel, save the tyres. The pit window is appro we're approaching the pit window, so you know, to get Too the fastest in lap possible, maybe. We have a wrong De Jong in like ahead of Dada, To be honest, I didn't expect it after qualifying. Yeah. I mean, the, the Ferraris did really well on qualifying. In the race, they seem to be struggling in the like the latter parts of it. Yeah, because Simon De Jong is getting closer to the race leader. He might send a move, and we might have a. He's very close. Clark and De Jong battle again, no. but now Clark will get the position. No. Simon De Jong is looking for his second win in MMS history what? in his no, career. Third. Down the inside, not quite. Harrigal got spun around by Williams backmarker here last season in the end of the race. No, oh, I yeah. deal with another Williams, but for the lead of the race. Cargo's definitely having some PTSD from that accident. I, I don't think we can call him the Dong anymore. I think it's the Yong. It's both the Yongs, not yeah. the Dongs. They have redeemed themselves from the, the Dong. 
nickname, but... And Diamond De Jong, I love oh, that they have green. Cut up. Their top four is kind of bunched up. Mercedes and Ferrari, he's in the Williams. Both teams have fired him, suitably, in Malaysia. Of respective season he was in their team, and now he's proven them both wrong. Just behind one, just ahead of another. Yeah, now Flynn trying to overtake Oriano. Murray is just there, chilling. I think McLaren took it easy coming into Bahrain. Maybe they're, 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 maybe they're sandbagging round one. And the three leaders, Carrigal and De, De Jongs. Oh dear. Oh boy. Cue, cue the duel of faiths. When are the pit stops? I think Carrigal for one is really looking for them now. De Jong is going to... What of the De Jong is going to die here? No. No. Oh no, yeah, no, oh. yes, no, yes, no. No. <laughs> no. Oh, oh Flynn, 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 no. no. Doesn't get it, did send the move. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at this, look at this, back markers, woo. And Rakus has great. finally passed uh, Tella. Well, I, I, I love how we call the reigning jump in the back marker. Okay, no, the back markers as in like the pack of back markers. Yeah, I know, I know, oh dear. Oh, oh dear. no! What happened there? The young, oh the young! On to the, the young, young they're going to side by side as now Clark will also have a beautiful view into this battle. No. Imagine if the Dion brothers take each other out. Oh, oh the Ferrari starts again. But what happened here? The Dion got know? the young, and the young falls the young. short of the young. Ah, oh, I love this. Carrigal is just, I don't know what power mode he's in, but it's not working for him so far. I mean, yeah, we're approaching the pit stops, so definitely yeah, same um, things. He saw how powerful the overcut was in the first thing, maybe tries to do the same thing yet again. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> oh, uh, right. <laughs> we love Quinch to right. hell. <laughs> the Williams of Simon de Jong mirrors are all full of reds. And not the good sort of red you want to see. I mean, usually when you see red in your mirrors, it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> Unless it's back marker red, but you know. Yeah, I mean, it's still bad. You it's never know what a back marker can do. Oh, Short of red, clerk. clerk! Well, he learned that move will not work for him. Oh, and there's another move. That's Flynn and Ragano. Flynn, no. And Flynn might get him, actually. Yeah, Flynn will get no. him. Flynn will get him. No, he actually, doesn't. No. No. That's good defense from a guard, or maybe just a simple mistake from Flynn. We're gonna steal a cork in the bottle for this train. Yeah, I mean, Murray... Murray. And Aaron's, but oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't get caught. <laughs> Carrigal, who also who obviously had a 3.7 second lead over the Williams at one stage, is now slowed it right down. We have pit stops. Is that for a problem? Yes, it is. That's for a problem. Raku's losing his wing for the second time Rakus, in this race. you mop it. What did you even okay. do? Come on, show the class what you did. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. <laughs> again, into Litogram. <laughs> <laughs> and it's again this corner. What what are the chances of this happening? What are Twice. the chances? You know what? In a race, is that confirmed FIA? I I wouldn't even call. I mean, he penalised himself. That there isn't damage to Littergrum, He fine. It's just so it's stupid. Damage. I would just say. Oh, 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 oh. Getting impatient, but I would get impatient if I was in a good car and down in seventeenth. Oh, Meanwhile, the leaders, oh, the oh my. Days. That is that? No, that's not what Carrigal wants. Carrigal gets a better exit, but the Diamond Dome is going to dive it down inside, surely. So, yeah, because he has Slipstream. Oh boy. Hanuman is closing up as well for the lead battle. Oh in the course on the my part. god. Diamond Dome in in, down inside of turn one. Oh my god, he he's, he's gonna get it. He's gonna get turned. He's gonna. He's got. No, he doesn't. Yes, no, yes, no. No, he doesn't get a lead just yet, but he's still close. He's within three tenths of the second, and that's enough to get a lot of slipstream from the car ahead of oh. you. And oh my god, he's sending it again. Oh, he punts into him. There's a lot of bump and run, and look at this, Damon Young now. He has, in theory, the worst line here, but if he manages to send it, then he might keep the position. He pushes Carrigal very wide, and it did not work. He only slowed Carrigal himself down. Carrigal, nice defense around that side in the S's. We've not seen that today. Yeah. 
That is a good thing from Caragal, but still, my god, my Caragal goodness, has man. to get a move on here. Yeah. Caragal has to get a move on. Oh, the Ferraris also have to get a move on. Let's be honest. They're stuck behind the Williams, I believe. Caragal can defend from the Williams. But okay, the, Ferraris the, ga at the this gap, stage. the gap from uh, Tamer de Jong to uh, Tanneman was two point nine on the main straight. Now it's just one point eight. Yeah, Tanneman is closing up as well in the console of Bosco. Obviously, Tanneman was the one who boxed later. The most. Oh, and it's Clark. Then, no, oh dear, the two Ferraris nearly come together. Did come together, and they all defend his position. Oh, God. And to the launch on the... No. no, but this is just insane. The drivers are definitely losing their composure. Well, what the frick are you doing? Maybe he's just, like, you know, flipping off his teammate. I don't know. Oh, dear. Here we go again. Here we go, the battle of the ages to come. Simon de Jong against Marco Caragal in season 3, I would have expected myself to say it a lot of times, and I did not. All contact between uh, Simon de Jong and Caragal, Caragal still keeps the lead, but it's the gap is smaller. And uh, my, look, look, well. look at the gap that is catching up to these guys. Last season, I think one of these two would have lost the front wing gauge to go about the front wings. Oh, stronger this season. Yep, we took we took things into turn. Oh no, my oh, God, he's yeah, sending yeah, it again. Yeah, he's sending it again. De Jong nearly outtractions his rival, but it's Caragal. It's the Mercedes traction, the not the Ferraris. Side. Oh, Mercedes in 2014. Matt Ferraris. The Ferraris, and look at this. No, look at Clark. Clark is going to come oi, back. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, and Tamer de Jong now slows down a Tadaman. <laughs> No Adam way. Adam is getting in a mix, but he could get a he could get a podium in, yeah? The Youngs no, the Young and the Young! Dead, we got all the retirements. We got all the retirements. Because the 19th car is ahead of the leaders. Anyways, um Tanneman, as you said, very Tanneman close to the leaders. Boston. And Ragano Oh Flynn is pitting in. Pits up window is open. Finally I think the lives like Caribou are very happy to see that. Yeah. Because Ferrari's bottled the first stint uh, strategy. So they might bottle the second one. Yeah, and Caragal went long in the first one, could go long again. We saw Salterberg, it was a gearbox failure. We just, yeah. It was a gearbox, yeah. We, we've seen every single DNF. Yeah. And the Ferraris again, is still getting close to the leader again. Yeah. No, it's a bit too far. Let's see. Two Ferrari. Clark down the inside. inside. And it's oh, there's a lot of contact. There's more contact than needed. I think some debris flew off one of the cars. The Ferrari in a war. It's only round one and it's happening already. Oh, look at this. Clark just locks up a lot of contact between the two in <laughs> the flashbacks. <laughs> Murray uh, is pitting in. Oh, he's pitting already, I should say. Aaron's and Murray pitting in, Aaron. but the leaders are Aaron. not close to coming in. Maybe, okay, the thinking process of Aaron's and Murray, maybe the undercut will work in the second half of the race. But no. the logic behind that, I just don't see it. Call me crazy, but I don't think I see it. Littergrim is still that. stuck behind this, but... Littergrim, what a miserable race he's had, and he also has to make another stop, it's not like he's a stop ahead of everyone else. Yeah. Uh, in this uh, battle, I should, say, I should say. I mean, yeah, it's, I, I swear we have, a, uh, we have a reigning champion curse. I swear. We have a reigning champion curse, which is why I'm actually thankful Canada kind of didn't win last season. <laughs> I mean, yeah. He's just gonna stick with these guys for a while. Yeah, but Littergrim is hopeless oh, this race. Oh. It's, it's a shame, really. Yeah. Salterberg, we got him. Yeah, they're all there. Caragal is carrying on. Uh, Everyone is carrying on, but we might see these uh, this pack pit now. Will they, is my question. They might also be looking for Gap to feed into uh, once it hits. No, oh, the, the Gap 4 is not pitting, but the Young is very close to Caragal. Oh dear, and the Tanneman Ferraris is in, yeah, Raganam Tanneman is, is in. in. Raganam is in. Tanneman was the one who pit later. Valjak is in. Kraus is in. Oh, look at that. Bump. Oh, you nice mop job. It. Nice job. You actual muppet. Like I don't you even know what he tried to do there. He just he wasn't he couldn't make up his mind. Then he dived it, just pumped him out of the way. Uh, that's 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 like five seconds to me. He has one five second penalty, I think it's now ten seconds. Yep, it's got increased to ten seconds. I mean that's justified. There was no space for him. 
I mean, he couldn't even make up his mind at breaking time. He was going to go for yeah, it. Yeah, like, and finally know... just decided, you know what? I'm gonna dive it. Oh, sugar. Yeah. Oh, sugar indeed. Now. Oh, and that's a move from Clark. Work again. It doesn't work. You cannot make moves here, you dingus. Muppet. Yeah, I've said Muppet. Then. Oh, Clark. Oh, low fuel. Low, low fuel, but he's the only one on low fuel. And I'm in this lap. Um, if cue, this cue lap, the dramatic music. Cue the dramatic music. I'm gonna play another uh, another theme if you actually run out of fuel. Yeah. That's right. I'm gonna prepare it now. I can't wait. Can't I mean, wait. I'm probably gonna be disappointed that he's not gonna run out of fuel. Yeah, but still, you get the you get the point. Uh, yep, got it. Let's prepare. Here we go, um, just waiting for the, for, the, for, the, for the golden moment. Skid marks there from Kabusek's amazing parking job. Yep. I, I mean, I think he's just played the parking simulator. And Here we in. go, Talman is in, Ragano is in. Ragano is in, and oh, I have to leave a spit in. Clark uh, is in. Clark is in. Caragal the young... Caragal is in. So that might... Stephen the young is not pitting. And both of the youngs... Actually, no, I think Taman is pitting. I think it's the well. Taman is pitting. Taman is pitting. So that might be race win for the Ferrari. And Taman is already out of the pits. Taman, is he going to be in traffic though? Uh, no. Because the cars behind him pit. He's in the cleanest of air as you can be. Taman could profit in here. Uh, obviously Stefan De Jong, I think, will profit in here with the undercar, uh, overcar, I should say. Valiak has benefited a lot. Aaron's, 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 he's good enough. Even more. You mm, not mongoloid. We we have right, to stop. Okay. We have to stop repeating saying Muppet. We need new words. Vocabulary. Not. We need to expand our vocabulary. Not. Let's see. It's safe and the on the on. Probably going to get. As, you as you die. Oh, oh! Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> the Ferrari strategy did not work there. This is a hardback. Oh. Oh my dear. <laughs> well, that we will have definitely someone surprising on the podium now. Oh dear. I knew, I called it, I literally called it. Oh, that's Ferrari a bottling break strategy and a half. still. No way. Ferrari bottling strategies uh, from. I don't know when. Whenever ends of Ferrari found it. Excuse me. Oh, Caragal might be in trouble. Valak is already in. Okay, this is crucial. This is crucial. Uh, he's not gonna be in traffic. Tanneman, look out for Tanneman. Yeah, Tanneman. He's out already. Caragal. 7 for 1. That is, that is a good stop. He's gonna get the lead. Oh, the lead. You get a point. Second. He's gonna stay second. That's for sure. He's miles ahead. Yes, and I, oh you know no. Oh Ste no. Don't tell me. Surely not. I'm Surely gonna prepare not. it just in case again. What? Ever? Eva, Valia, Look how much she gained with the strategy here. Wait. Eva Valia did a undercut. Oh, oh. Wait, wait. They wrong you. Oh, <laughs> let's see that. I mean, De Jong here parks it on the apex, right in front of Valak. Valak has no time to react. That was a racing incident. Yeah, that's a race, because Valak was already turning in, and then De Jong just blocks the apex. That's I why I noted it, but no penalty is necessary. Yeah, no penalty, that's a racing incident. Now, I'm curious, the second and only Ferrari left in this race, where is he going to be? And Aris is in traffic. Look at the minimap, look Williams. at the minimap. Aris has gained. Oh. Oh, that's a, is that's a... Stuck? No, 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 that was... No, that no, was like an uh, engine power cut. He's still struggling with them. So, yeah, he did note that in braking and in acceleration zones, the power okay, cut. Okay, where, 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 where is he? 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 Okay, 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 here we go. We're he focusing on the man who's at risk. Caragal is gaining so Okay, he will get to the pits. He will get to the pits. But now Just the question so. is, will Caragal jump Stephen Young? He's going for the S's now. As we have to focus on this beautiful battle. Aaron's just going to pull out. Oh, wait, what a move! He can make it work, can he? Yeah, yeah he gets it. He's got it. Good job. The young, Diamond Young, has lost a lot. Uh, oh, Stephen the Young has won the race. 
No, never mind. He has just a further pit, pit box. I forgot. Yeah, boy. Yeah, he's not gonna. Where's Carrigal? There he is. Oh, he's got him. Carrigal has it. Carrigal has it, and he's yeah, clear. But he's close. Yeah, but he's close. We have our battle for the final few laps. Hanneman is up in third. De Jong uh, is now gonna attack Aaron's. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Yeah. Well, Clean. if it's what I think it is, Aaron's Well, no, up. never mind. Aaron's fights back. Yeah, get it. Oh. Good so job. now we have one Ferrari out of the race. Another is trying to go after Carrigal for the race. If, so one more, if one more car will lose a wing, we will see Spiker in the points in the first race. Lidicrum is in, but his race is down the shit anyway. Sorry for swearing. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. Anyone? Great has already done it in FJ, so... Oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, like minimum, no, maximum one swear word I'm fine with. It sips out. Happens. I mean, I'm actually trying to be more professional than I ever was last season. I mean, we, 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 I think you can already hear the improvement. I'm not screaming. I mean, actually, I actually tried with the intro. So. Yeah, it was we, not... we didn't have a single. Oh, by me. Oh dear, Ferrari against Mercedes. When have we seen that before? You're right, never in our class. No. Have we not? I mean, um, in theory, we did when Kabusa was battling for the podium. Well, so, yeah, but, but real life. This, well, was, not anymore, but was the battle, the battle for the instructors and yep. the driver. Look how much he's getting on the braking. We seem to get it. In MMS, we have like, what, four? No, not four, what the hell? Uh, six laps to go. Seven laps to go. Seven, 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 seven laps to go. Seven, seven. including this one. Yeah. If you, if um, you, yeah. Yeah. We have a battle between two instructors for the race lead. Yeah, and we have a battle between um, a constructor and a Williams. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there's another constructor battling oh, Williams. Oh no! Don't spend the, the, these guys battled in FJ. Well, battled. Kraus was not usually near the top, so can't say they battled. Yeah, and now he's been given a decent car in MMS uh, F1. And he's using that and opportunity. He's using it pretty well. Uh, where oh, let us go his last. Littergram is lost off the runners, you might as well just pocket and call it a day, Carrigal really, and Dion. It's, it's crucial data for the team, if you think about it. Well, fair enough, but Murray, to be fair, has done a decent recovery. Yeah, the field is now spread, so don't, do not complain about the lack of racing, this is what yeah. happens. Well, this gives um, us the opportunity to just lay down, have a bit of a chat. I mean, we, well, I we can definitely... there's two garages in the paddock that are not chilled out right now. Yeah. At least, yeah, maybe more. Um, Right, I think we can agree that uh, this season is already full of surprises, just waiting for we'll, us. We'll have already got a lot of surprises and, well, okay, the first two positions we expected right now. Yeah. But we have a surprise. In I mean, to be fair, did you expect Ferrari to do so well? Well, I did it until pre-season testing. Yeah, to be fair. Aaron's if if pre-season testing is anything old. to go by, it really proved that this season yeah. will be unpredictable. Uh, but yeah, we have Hanneman in the Porsche and the Porsche car in third. Yeah. Eva Valia. Eva bloody Valia in Aston Martin Mercedes getting her him up in her. Uh, Into P4, yellow. that is insane. Ahead of McLaren. This is a massive boost for Aston Martin. And Valia is catching up. As yeah. well, this guy has been stable for the last lap. Yeah, this has been very stable, but still, they're catching up because this is kind of a battle, you know? They're not pulling yeah. away, but they're losing time. These spikers are waiting for someone to retire in front of them. Legicrim is yeah. trying to get a move on. I mean, to be fair, the right. spikers have really impressed me so far. I really like the Renault, uh, Renault engine sounds. On board. Yeah, they're really nice. I don't think I've actually been on board the other like Mercedes cars for too much. Yeah. But at least I don't remember. But Renault, I think, one of the nicest sounding cars on the ground. I mean, I, I really like uh, the Porsche. It sounds just this weird artificially but it has this nice I mean Stefan de Jong has Stephen the fastest lap. fastest lap right now uh, but yeah reigning champion down in last in a car that should oh rip one of the spiker cars that's material unlucky I don't think that's the retirement they were hoping for yeah <laughs> they were waiting for retirement they just didn't know they were waiting for a retirement but it's not doing in front of me and that's a brake that. failure into a very fast like corner yeet well, the brakes not... are seriously overheating today yeah, 
Uh, like, I didn't eight. suspect they would be such a massive issue. And we are in did. desert, keep in mind. Yeah. Oh no, Ava Valley, no. Murray, no. Murray, no. Murray, put. no. Put, stay put. Good, doggy. Good. Good. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, oh, Ava is doing well as it is. The young is catching up to Marco Caragal and. Caragal is sort of used to battling of the young, but that's not the De young. We have now the Travis Eye. From with uh, mirrors. Yep, uh, on board the McLaren. I don't know why they have the Mercedes on the steering wheel, but I think that's just the McLaren one. That, that, that's a glitch. We do not. Yeah, that's a glitch from McLaren's side. I think that's just how much they want Mercedes to Yep. Um, they missed them. They missed them, but I don't think Mercedes missed them. Oh, there's a bit of luck up there from Valiak. Bit of a. Oh under dear. Pressure. Oh dear. <laughs> this is under pressure situation here. Paragol, well, he has led races before, he has won races before. Four Stephen and Dion. basically, uh, four laps to go, because well, we're about to finish this lap, so... Mm -hmm. No, five laps to go it will be. Now it's six laps to go. Has never stood <gasps> no! Long. Oi! It happened again. It's happened again. It happened again. <laughs> Marco Caragol is out of this race. Kerber Wallenlager has struck. And is that... Eva is... On the podium. Mihail Valley just got over there. <laughs> Get back in here. Wrong Mercedes! <laughs> this time it's Caragol who suffers. It's the same straight, it's just a bit It's airier. the same bloody straight as well. Spike is in the points. Ava Valley is on the podium. Not for long because Murray is about to take it off her. Huh? Yeah, but still. And that's oh handed boy. the race on a golden blade to Ferrari. Unless they blow up. Oh, Dunneman, Dunneman looks up! Dunneman is into the wall! Dunneman! He rejoins! What's your rejoin, man? He rejoins well, outside of the podium, Dunneman has bottled it! Valiak is off in second! Ava Valiak is second now! Oh my god! Joseph Murray third! He locks up the brakes, are seriously giving up! Oh, 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 he was so what lucky! Up. What he was so lucky to didn't lose the front wing, for that was so... Weird on the region, and now Andrew Mondragon is going to steal the podium of Murray. Surely. So we have, in theory, four. F f uh, we, well, if we can't, uh, Aston Martin has a constructor in a way, car manufacturer, right? Then we have three car manufacturers on the podium. Insane. So uh, yeah. Ferrari. We have Aston Ooh, Martin. Raku's might score point. Oh no, he has penalties, I forgot, but still. Yeah. We have a few laps to go. We have, we, we have seriously a few laps to go. Murray is chasing out Eva Valiak. And Mondragon could land on our podium in Venturia. The desert heat is being ruthless towards these cars. We have so many retirements, it's crazy. In before Stefan de Jong's Ferrari engine blows up and have Eva Valiak battling for the you know win. What? You know what? Keep an eye on the green dot on the bo both of the minimaps. Because things might go down here in Bahrain. Here we go now in the slipstream. Murray Joseph comfortably. Murray is trying to steal the dreams of the 17-year-old Ava Valor, who is second yeah. right now. Will drop the third, but then he, she will have to watch out for Andrew Mondragon. Murray's not diving it. Uh, Murray did lock up, and Andrew Mondragon is now at the back of these two as well. We have three laps to go, including this one. Uh, Stefan de Jong's gap to Ava Valak is stable and we might see a Ferrari winner in the first race here in Bahrain. Yep, don't forget Mondragon has a 10 second line penalty. So Mondragon Tannerman has will... a 10 second penalty, so even if he gets past Murray and maybe oh, Ava... Oh, speaking of getting past, he's very close. Dive it down inside, maybe on the McLaren no. thing. Ava will not mind it at all. Tannerman is in fifth. I mean, Valak has got a podium here in FJ uh, in previous era, so... Yeah, but... First race in F1 and on a podium. Yep. And basically secured on the podium unless Hanneman has something to say about it. Because right now Hanneman is in F4. He needs to overtake either Valiak or Murray to get the podium. Ferrari is on route, on route to get their first ever win in the MS uh, as it is right now. Yeah. With team bosses. I don't but know if they I won mean... before in the rebooted era. We still have, like, what? Two, two laps, laps to go. go. Now. Two All laps to go. Now. Now. 
So... Stefan De Jong now, without pressure, going for his first win in MMA. Ferrari. Off the last season, the mare they had. And season 3 as well. Season 4 was actually positive for Ferrari. But I was, well, Let's was, see, was no good. moves here, but there's a move from Valak onto Ar Aaron. has to now back the points he has for oh. Mercedes because it's going to be a bad season. It's not the best of openers they would have hoped yeah. for, and it was the wrong Mercedes as far as the Mercedes team was is, uh, concerned that blew yeah. off. If anything, I think they would have hoped Aaron's would have been the one if they have to yeah, uh, I mean, sacrifice one of them. If two. they have to sacrifice someone, then it would have been Aaron's, as you say. They lost one Mercedes here last season, and now the Mercedes they lost is down in six, uh, last season it is, and they lost the race leader. Uh, Tanam is now closing up to the part in front. Mondragon does not exist. Uh, oh, as far oh, Murray as Hanneman. Shifted. Murray is slowing down! And that is Hanneman into that 3 oh, 3 gearbox failure. It's a gearbox failure for that. Murray. Murray! McLaren pointless this race. Oh my god. I don't believe it. It's another gearbox failure. What is going oh, on with gearboxes in there? Murray, Murray, Murray obviously will be able to close it off. Rakus will still points rapidly. Final lap, Abel Valak has closed down a second in our in our sector. Final lap. Oh Surely not. Oh my God, this race. So as it stands, Stefan Young is on course to win his and Ferrari's first race. Abel Valak second, Hanneman third. And now, obviously, we don't know. What a race this has been. This race. Reliability has been poor and I, I'm actually surprised both Ferrari haven't been out because I know a lot of teams, some teams, did invest in reliability. And yeah, it's not worked out too well yeah, for them. It's, it it's, is sort of fun chief. I mean, the youngest going down, I think. I mean I think now we will see um a lot of engine because engines upgrades are race by race. Well, another second in our sector. Ever well explosion, but I think it's too late. Yeah. Oh, that's the Martin. Stefan De Jong has never won a race. I don't think has ever stood on a podium in MMS F1 anyway. No. He's been on the podium, well, podium in IndyCar. He's been in the top three once. Stefan yeah. De Jong in the Ferrari, newly re well, I can't say rebranded, but new owner again. Trying yeah. to bring some stability into the red uh, and, in Italy. Well, in Round the final two corners goes. He brought them away. Hey Ferrari. And he's won. Yep. So there Ferrari, on. you are race winners. Also, I have to go. Yep. And here we go. Valiak. In P2, then we're going to have Mondragon, Tanneman, Arendt, you know, saving us on finishing in fifth. Then we have Valiak, Tami de Jong, Rogano, Kraus, Josh Flynn, so double points. Viba. Just Viba. But actually, we still have a battle with these guys. Murray is pitting just this lap. He's been going on with a stuck gearbox for a whole lap. Mad. But yeah, Viba. Just Viba. Amazing drive. What else? Let's see. Raku's. I mean, I think he has a penalty. Does Raku's have a penalty? Does Rakus have a penalty? That's my question. Because if he does, and it's 10 seconds, well, Litergum is going to get the points. Oh, 5 seconds then. Yeah, then uh, Litergum does not get points. Murray is still limping to the pits. Also, what was the gap between Mondragon and Tanaman? Tanaman actually will be third in this race. Because of Mondragon's 10 second time penalty, I believe it was, he's going to get him. Unbelievable. Oh my god, this is painful to listen to. But, hey, it happened. What a race. Here's your race winner. Oh, but no, no, don't, don't, don't. Oh, Jesus. That is... Very close. Anyways, fastest snap. Who got it? It's Stephen the... Oh, so he takes the... He takes the 26... Uh, no, yeah, 26, I think. Points with him. I'm not sure how much he scored, but anyways... What a bloody race. What a bloody race. That was, again, Bahrain delivers the amazing uh, season openers, so... It really was a pleasure to commentate. Obviously, Rakes had to uh, commit to die now. 
So I will give a driver of the day and I think Well Pascana, what was Pascana's issue? Pascana, Pascana, Pascana. Suspension. Oof. Anyways, um a lot of retirements, which is quite surprising to see. We've had um sixteen cars finish. Murray limping to the pit lane. Um you know, could have been worse. Four cars will not score points that have finished. Um yeah. For me, driver of the day, I mean, it, it has to be a Eva Valiak. I mean, out of nowhere. She just kept consistency. The strategy, the second sin, definitely helped her strategically in p to put that car up in that podium. And obviously, the retirements of uh, people like Carrigal and Clark definitely, um, definitely have um, helped them. <sighs> what an amazing opener for the season this was. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, where is the next race? I asked myself. Um, gonna quickly check. Let's see. FIA calendar. We're going to Zandvoort for the Dutch Grand Prix, which has returned after being absent for one season. Zandvoort always delivers good races, so can't argue with that. So, thank you so much for coming. I really hope you enjoyed this season open as much as we did. And see you next time for what definitely will be a hell of a race. Be sure to be safe on the roads and wear your seatbelt. And see you, sir, and see uh, each other in um, the land of the Nenda, in the land of the Nenda uh, for the Dutch Grand Prix in Netherlands, in Zandvoort, home of the two De Jongs. That race will surely be something else. See you next time and bye bye.